In this video demonstration, we're going to be taking a look at the layer mask function here in Photoshop, specifically working with our photo edge files. Now these photo edge files come with our Picto Design Gallery, and you've probably seen these photo edge files with your download instructions and had no idea what you can might do with those. And so um, we're going to show you in this demonstration just a couple of techniques to get the ideas flowing. Now the photo edge files are primarily designed to be used as a layer mask. Now there's actually lots of different ways you can use them and we're going to show you some of those different options. So for, let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm going to be using Photoshop CS5 on a PC but the, all these techniques will work with earlier versions of Photoshop uh, even if you're on a Mac. So um, first things first let's come in here and pick an image to work with. And what I like to do when I'm working uh, is just make a couple of copies. So I'm going to hit Control J a couple of times, Command J on a Mac for you Mac folks, and then we'll just turn off this original layer and work on our duplicate one at the very top. So first things first, let's add a layer mask, and we can do that by just clicking on the layer mask icon here in Photoshop. That'll add a layer mask uh, to our image and actually another thing I might do is I might just come in here and use my crop tool and make this image just a little bit bigger so I have a little bit of a border all the way around to work with and I'm gonna go ahead and delete the layer mask I just created and actually go ahead and control click on my image or command click on the image that will make a selection of the image itself and then when I click on my layer mask icon watch what happens I get this black border all the way around and that's what I was looking for. So right here where it's white is where the image is visible. Now if I go in and grab my brush tool here in Photoshop and begin painting on my layer mask with the color black, watch what happens. As I paint on my layer mask, actually turn off our background layer as well. Actually let's fill our background color rather than turn it off. Let's fill it with white. And you can see as I paint on my layer mask up here on my image layer, as I'm adding black, I'm hiding part of the image, right? You can see more and more black being added to the layer mask. Now if I paint in white, then I'm revealing more and more of my image. So that's kind of the basics of working with layer masks, either paint in black or paint in white. Now let's just go ahead and delete the layer mask and let's add, add it all over again. There we go. So now we have our original black border again. So working with the photo edge files, Step one, what, what is something that we could do with these? Well, one thing you might do with them, let's just open one up. It's pretty simple. We'll just pick a photo edge, select all. So we hit select all, edit and copy, and then close that file. And then I'm just going to choose edit and paste. And then I'm just going to resize it here a bit to be slightly larger than the image. And then I'm just going to invert the image by hitting Control I. And there we have a very basic effect. Now watch what happens here. I'm actually on my background layer. I'm going to fill with, a, with, with my foreground color. And you notice that because on this photo edge layer here, we have this white border going around our photo edge. How would we get rid of that quickly and easily so I can just see the black bits? Well, the easy way to do that, of course, is to change our blend mode. So let's go to multiply. Boom. All of the white has now vanished. What if I wanted a white background photo edge? I'm going to invert my image, and now I have all of this black. So to I could just come in here to this go back to normal. You can see that I have white with this black. How do I get rid of black? Change your blend mode to screen. Okay, so multiply gets rid of white. Screen gets rid of black. So that's our first effect that we're creating. We're not even using layer masks at this point. 
Okay, so that's kind of the lazy man's way of doing it. Now, there is a better way to do it, and that is, of course, by using layer masks. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit my Alt key or Option key on a Mac and click on my layer mask icon. This will give me a view of just the layer mask. I'm then going to open up that same photo edge file, select all, edit and copy, and close. And then I'm going to choose paste when my layer mask is visible. See, I can hit edit and paste. And I'll actually paste that right dead center of my layer mask. And it gives me a selection as well. So I'm going to click back over to my image. And notice that my selection is still present. But back over here on my layer mask, and then I can hit free transform. And I can free transform this. And now you can see I actually have an edge effect all the way around my image. Now how interesting is that? And I'm seeing the background layer below. So pretty cool stuff, really easy to do. Now I'm actually going to add a new layer here. So let's go ahead and create a new Photoshop layer. And let's fill this Photoshop layer with, I guess, black for the time being. Okay, I'm going to add a layer mask. And I'm going to fill that layer mask with black as well. And then I'm going to come in here and grab a different photo edge. Let's go with this one this time. So I just copied it to the clipboard. And then I'm actually going to paste it right into this new layer mask. So. So again, I'm going to hold down my Alt key and click on my layer mask icon. That will give me a view of just my layer mask. And then I can hit Paste. And then I'll click back over here on my image, then back over here on my layer mask, and then Free Transform. And as I increase the size of this, you can see that it's going to actually reveal the black below. Because the white area of my layer mask gets bigger, so I see a bigger and bigger black swatch. Watch what happens. If I make the white area of my layer mask smaller, then I get a much smaller black area. So that's the difference. It's just adjusting the white area of my layer mask to reveal how much of this black square I want to reveal. And that's all there is to it. So you can see we can create a really interesting effect. Super, super easy. Um, just by doing that. Now I can actually duplicate this layer. So I'm just going to duplicate the layer and I'm just going to rotate it the opposite direction. And you can even do something really crazy and just grab one corner and do something like that. Now sometimes you can create some interesting effects by really skewing the uh, layer mask. Now I'm going to actually go back over here and I'll click on just the layer mask, grab my brush tool here, and basically all I'm going to do here is paint in black area where I see this little fringe of white. Because we don't want that part of the layer revealed. So we're just going to go ahead and paint that all back in. Oops. If you make a mistake, no problem. Just undo and fill that area back in again. There we go. So back over here on the layer itself, I'm just going to change the color and fill that layer with white. And then for a final effect here, why don't we add a drop shadow? Do an angle of 135. Increase the size a bit. And my distance here. And there we go. So we have a very uh, different effect, but actually somewhat similar to what we started with. And it's a very interesting effect. Now, what we can do just to kind of further this, let's go ahead and save this to our desktop. And let's just call it Photo Edge template 01. Save. Okay. So what 
so now I have this as a new template that I created. What would happen if I was working with someone and I just wanted to drop in another image? It's really easy to do. So let me just show you that. So we'll go ahead and we'll grab another image here from a different library of photos. And let's just use this one right here, I guess. With our move tool, we're going to just drag it right over into our template here. And all I'm going to do is take this layer mask and copy it to my new image layer. Now watch and learn. Just hold down our Alt key, our Option key on a Mac, and click and drag on our layer mask icon to the new image layer. Do the same thing with our layer styles. Turn off the original image. And that's all there is to it. Can you believe it's really that simple? And so now we have the same edge effect, but applied to a different image. And if I turn off the layer mask, remember I can hold down my shift key and click. That turns off the effects of the layer mask. Pretty nifty stuff. So that's it. That is the basics of working with layer masks. And you can continue to explore uh, all kinds of interesting things. Um, and work with these layer masks and modify them to your heart's content. But that is the basics of working with Photoshop and layer masks as relates to the Photo Edge files in the Picto Design Gallery series.